I have some fans in Prairie. We're gonna change the bearings and clean this up. See all the dirt that's built up in there, but main complaint was the bearings. Got these in stock. Um, you're gonna need a puller and a zip tie, all right, and some patience. I'm gonna have to cut this right here, remove all this. I'll show you when we get to pulling this out. Just go ahead and pull that off. Let me see if I can pause. I'll remove the screws. Now I need to do these two. And this pops just right out. This is how to get the bolt out of this. Got little tines that go in here. And the worst part of this is actually getting this to come up, and that actually looks like that came up. Just be real careful when you do that. It's got this post right here that goes into that slot right there. We're gonna have to pull this post so we can get the bearing off of this. But what I'm gonna do now is cut the I'll cut this and I'll decouple this from the motor right now. It's one of those compression pins and what I'm just gonna do is just press it out. All right. And that's actually the right size for this guy. Gently tap that out. All apologies to Klein. Of course, it would fight me now, but that's okay. And there it is. We will put that back in later and slide that off. And oh, that should that should hold in there a little better. We have these actually in stock if that's an issue. Now you're gonna pull this side, you're gonna undo these screws here and pull this side and make sure to keep this part in the housing because the wiring is coming here in the top. I'm holding that in. three and there's four and that one has the grounding strap on it all right Let's set these over with the rest of the screws in, in order now I'm going to take this top off right here and there's bearing one and when you pull it up there's bearing two, and importantly, there's this little leaf spring that sits in the bottom. And we'll put that there, back for safekeeping. Now we're going to pull these, and see, that's gone. Um, this bearing is okay, but I'll change that. I'll change that anyway, but this, this bearing, gone. See, not spinning at all. All right. Before you put the puller on this, it's good to get these snap rings out because your puller will catch them. And you're gonna damage it. A little tricksy, but doable. I might need to try this a couple different ways. Got it. Go 
of the wrist jabbing my finger on that. I'm gonna put those in another location. And this guy too. There you go. Now I can get the bearing puller on there without worrying about damaging about damaging that. See that one is that one is nice. But this is a problem. This one. Now this shaft doesn't have a dimple in it for this to go in. So you're gonna have to keep that centered when you put your bearing puller on. And this is almost overkill for this. See, I'm gonna have to keep that kind of towards the center. I think it's starting to slip off already. Now it's moving. All right. And I have this very, you know, as loose as possible right there. All right. I'm going to have to. Whoop, I'm going to have to revisit that just to get that last, that last piece. I might try and. Do this, not bending the shaft. Yeah, see, that's not going to work. Yeah, it pulled out. All right, I'm going to have to redo my puller to get that to work, and that's totally fine. You can take a drill and make your own dimple. Sorry about the wobble. I am doing this a little differently. There you go, I got release. And I used just a, use either a screw or a bolt or something, anything that goes internally like that. All right, I make my own jig to do that. And there you go, there's one. And now, now we'll pull the other one. I don't want to damage motor piece or bend the shaft. These things have imbalance issues as it is. And again, this has no little dimple. So let me do something. Protect my threads and make a little dimple. Funny, the device is fighting me a little bit. All right. Yeah, this whole thing is fighting me a little bit. All right, it's coming up to tension. We got movement. There we go. And if the shaft is dirty, yeah, don't do that. If the shaft is dirty, it may fight you. It may fight you like right here. I'm good, I'm glad it did. I'm gonna get a file and just take all these little burrs that are right here because of the uh, the locking ring. Be back. So I'm a little file. I'm just going around and you can feel you can feel where the burrs were. I had a major one here. You just keep working it. Keep your edge flat. So just walk around.
Here's her high school wood shop, or metal shop right there. And just keep working it around so that it can actually come off. Really nice, because your other one has to go on. Seemingly something there as well, but that's, that's acceptable. You can get the new one on. All right, and what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna stick this in the freezer and cool it down so I don't have to heat my bearings up too much to get them to slip on, all right? We'll show you that next. All right, no, I'm actually clean the, let me go ahead and clean that blower wheel. Let's see if I can show you that. I'll take that into the boiler room. That's pretty standard. Just a bunch of toilet paper and you know bathroom stuff has gotten up in there and that will really reduce your airflow. You can see this plastic is not the best as far as warpage goes. But we can clean that up. That, that'll come off. A little bit of hot water, a little soap. I'll come right off. All right, we're ready to put these bearings back in. I've got them heated up. But what I'm going to do is take this can of compressed air. Oh, I got to put that Carter pin back on. Very important in this step. not a carter pin it's a snap ring so that's the stop for the bearing but before I do that let that remain attain its heat go ahead and cool this off just a little more Well, and this will slip right on. Oops, sadly, no. Do the old car trick. Hey, that's in right where I want it. Right to the stop. We'll go ahead and put the other snap ring in. Got the other snap ring in, it's ready to go. That's cold, nice and cold, but we'll do the same thing. Oh, you know, I put it in the wrong spot, you see that? It actually needs to go much lower. Put it in down here where it's supposed to go. in now do the same thing Get that nice and cold and I make sure that this actually works and it does. It's just a quarter inch piece of pipe. Almost. A lot easier with a bearing heater don't have and that is sitting perfectly on the snap ring and there you go all right all right before you get excited and put this in you got to reassemble this part you're going to get this snap ring back in put that back on and then 
put this piece back in. It's got a little groove in it, so it can go in, but you're going to need to guide it in place here. And that's what you don't want to have happen. Add a little bit more out. And you can put it over the hole just to get it started. Okay, and then it'll come up to the hole and then you can adjust your tongue and groove to get it on the side. and then get it about 50-50. You can do better than that. Yeah, it's about 50-50. And then that will go in this groove right here and lock in for that. Now, before you slide this back into the motor assembly, make sure you have your leaf spring in here which will give a little bit of give and take thing on that. So it'll keep the bearings in place. Now I blew out this motor with the rest of the compressed air. This doesn't really care which way this goes on, so you're fine. And do you see what I did? And I'm glad I did it, because that's what you're not supposed to do. I'm gonna have to take this back out so I can get this on before you get excited. Glad I did that, and you can see what I did wrong. Click that back out, easy peasy. Now we're going to put this in. All right, that just slipped into the bearing assembly, and it's got a little bit of play holding it in place. It's exactly where it needs to be. All right, see, now that's tight. You can push it back just a little bit. So mating surfaces are tight where they need to be. Now I put back these four screws right here. Grounding strap on that one screw. I like to go ahead and screw these in it's like engine block. I like to do the final tightening with a screwdriver so I can just feel it out. Just hand tight, you just don't want them to come back out. Do your spin test, there you go. And that sounds so much better than it was. I'll put back snap ring. I had to bend this snap ring in a little bit to get it to seat correctly. All right, that's nice and tight. That's the way you want it. All right, we'll have to fight with that again. Totally fine, I'll give you a better angle on that. And again, I'll start it like that. Okay, start, and then I'll finish by being a little offset. I need to be a little more offset. Oh, I'm over 50 50, it's okay. All right, that would be okay, but we can do better than that. There you go, 50-50, that way it'll fit in the slot. Slot goes all the way through, so you can be a little off, but we can be professional about it. Now I'll put this back on the mounting assembly, and we'll get the 
wiring coming up through here where it was, then you can mark that. I should have marked that. And I'll be a good guy and clean that off too. All right, so I got it back on with the wiring right where it was. And we'll put the, put the zip tie back on. All right, and we'll trim that to fit. And I'll screw everything back in. Put the, put these two, put these two in first, and then we can go do the screws around the side. All right, so I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the blower wheel on. You see, you got your groove, got your groove right there, and I got my 50/50 right there. And I'm just going to best guess. See if I get it over the shaft. And yes, I did forget to put this on, and I'm totally happy with that because it shows you not to rush. And I don't know if I actually got that in the in the groove, so I'm gonna second guess myself. Pull that up. Yeah, I don't think that I did. Fiddling with it. Ah, see? Now I got a full bolt size here. Now you know you're all the way down. And I'll just lightly loosen that or tighten that. All right, so hopefully my mistake is your gain. Now you can check how out of round that is. You really can't bend these too much in and they'll just go back out of round if they're plastic. So. Right, this is this is metal going into plastic, so I really do not want to over tighten these. So I do barely tight. And then I feel tighten it by hand. That's the way to do it. Don't be that guy. Don't go stripping out your plastic housing or metal housing for that matter. Don't be that guy. There you go. Here's the final thing to do is test it. This is running right now. If you put it down and you block the block the intake, it'll run a little faster. And that's quiet.